If I had to call it right now, Omno is my game of the year. Okay, end of video. Oh, I guess you want me to, you know, explain why Omno is my game of the year so far. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. Let's do that then. Omno is a game that I've had on my radar for quite some time. Upon playing the demo last year, I was hooked. I couldn't get enough of it. I kept following bits of development shown on Twitter and watched showcases shown off, and when we finally got that release date, I was floored. I raved about Omno in multiple videos on this channel and said it was my most anticipated upcoming 3D platformer. Check out that video, by the way. So when Future Friends Games reached out and provided a key for review, I said absolutely I'll review this game. So without further ado, let's get into my review of Omno by Studio. Studio Inky Fox. Sit back, relax, smash that subscribe button, and enjoy. If I were to try and pin down Omno to a genre-specific description, Omno is a cinematic 3D puzzle platformer adventure game. Okay, maybe that's not that helpful, but it's also pretty accurate. The game was developed by Jonas of Studio Inky Fox, a solo developer who spent five years crafting a fantastical and mysterious experience as a hobby project which still blows my mind to think about. I'll explain why later. Omno's gameplay is spot on for the world it's trying to build. In Omno, you'll mostly be interacting with areas of each of its detailed landscapes, meeting new creatures and plants, doing some light platforming, and solving some puzzles along the way. The first thing you may want to do is simply walk around and take it all in, but we'll dive into the visuals in a bit. Platforming is basic, but still very fun. This isn't a rage-inducing game by any means. Platforming is a tool used to make the most of each environment and to encourage you to explore more. You'll notice orbs of light scattered across each area, and one of your goals is to interact with these orbs, usually requiring some platforming, puzzle solving, or gathering light to reach them. Once you do, these orbs will coalesce upon an obelisk that when powered with enough light will let you move on to the next area or puzzle. Additionally, you'll be interacting with the game's various species of plants and creatures along your journey. The creatures you'll meet along the way will be recorded in a log that upon cataloging said creature will tell you more about what you just saw and interacted with, providing you with more context as to why they're there and why they may act more friendly or timid. The story of Omno is told through interacting with various floating cubes or relics that reveal memories which are purposefully vague in a vacuum, but begin to build on each other as you go along. This is a story you begin to piece together as you play, and you'll likely fill in some of its gaps with your imagination. The last part I'd like to mention is the various abilities that you have at your disposal. From dashing, to sailing on your staff, to other abilities I won't mention to avoid any semblance of spoilers, you encounter these abilities as you play. Each landscape is tailor-made for the abilities you have, and with more abilities comes more traversal options, larger areas, access to secrets, and this in tandem with the visuals keeps things very fresh as you play. No ability feels tacked on and they all feel fun to use. Overall, Omno's gameplay provides plenty of variety and fun while keeping this a more atmospheric and relaxing experience. Omno is absolutely stunning and the most beautiful game I've played all year. From its diverse landscapes, to its use of space, lighting effects, and overall presentation, this game is right up there with the likes of Journey and Rhyme in the way it captures a feeling of wonder and mystery so perfectly. Omno features a distinct art style that is artfully low poly in spots, but its parts sum up to be very detailed and striking to the eye. I caught myself several times just looking around in each landscape, taking it all in and noticing more as I went. I was awestruck at times, and yet I always felt a sense of calm in its world. As as mentioned before, Omno features several diverse landscapes from more lush garden-like areas to sandy desert areas, and some with more of a sense of fantasy that's difficult for me to put into words. There are distinct types of flora in the game from colorful trees to smaller plants that bring flutters of light and some pretty adorable cacti, and it all makes sense in the areas they're placed in. This isn't a mirror of reality, but it still makes sense and adds to the overall density in a way that has a function to elevate its setting. The creatures you meet along the way are what truly makes Omno shine in its visual department. The creature designs and their associative nomenclature nomenclature are unique but have enough familiarity to them to feel real without thinking twice about them. Some creatures resemble turtles, only much larger. Some resemble jellyfish, only they're floating in the air. Some look like scorpions, only instead of being deadly and full of poison, they're cute and filled with light. These creatures make the world feel lived in and without them, the world would feel bleak and empty. It's not to say there isn't some sense of emptiness here. Landscapes tend to open up in size as time goes on, and in spots where the world does have a bit of loneliness felt, that feels intentional, but with its diverse creatures and plants around to interact with, you never feel completely alone. Audio-wise, the game was composed by Benedict Nichols and is the perfect accompaniment to Omno's world. The layered soundtrack is dynamic and pulls back in calmer moments, but swells and flourishes in more dynamic and exhilarating instances. It's the kind of soundtrack you'd probably hum to yourself if you were picturing all of this in a book, which is exactly what you'd want to go for in a game like this, and they completely nail it. 
When it comes to accessibility, Omno gets some aspects correct while there is some area for improvement. Thankfully, I don't think any of the criticisms in this area are not addressable via a patch or future update. Let's dive into the positives. One area regarding accessibility that many people do not consider is price and affordability, and I can safely say that Omno thrives in this area. Omno is currently priced at 19 US dollars, which is more than reasonable and is a price that will provide more people with access to the game than more expensive games in the space. That's not to say that a higher price game isn't worth it, but with a price of $19 and it being on Game Pass Day 1, Omno opens the doors for a wide swath of people to be able to enjoy the game right away. The game also offers resolution scaling, frame rate capping, and detail toggles, which allows those with lower spec or less expensive hardware a solid chance to be able to run this game without springing for a new computer or console. Many of us don't have the money to spend on the latest and greatest hardware, so I'm glad performance options have been considered here. Omno is also accessible from a difficulty standpoint. The game doesn't have difficulty settings, but it doesn't need them. This is not a game designed to frustrate you. The puzzles are intuitive and the compass system provides enough information to not need a HUD, which provides for a less busy and less cluttered experience. There's no penalty for falling or failing, and levels are able to be moved on from without needing anywhere near 100% completion to do so. This game will reward you for taking things at your own pace and encourages you to do so. It's one of the reasons why I've enjoyed my time with it so much. Where the game falls flat in accessibility comes down to text, audio, and button mapping. Omno does not have any voice acting and has a more minimal approach to storytelling, but there's still plenty of text here. Having the ability to make the text larger or bolder or in higher contrast would positively affect those with poor or compromised eyesight. It should also be something that is considered more with the rise of portable gaming PCs like the Steam Deck and game streaming to mobile devices. Additionally, there are no audio sliders present. For those who may be sensitive to certain sounds or otherwise may need certain sounds amplified for their experience, having sliders for music and effects does make a difference. Finally, the game lacks button remapping in the options. This would go a long way in allowing for more control schemes to work more seamlessly, which lets more players play the game comfortably. I believe all most if not all of this can be patched in and it would be a welcome addition to an otherwise amazing experience. I'm not an accessibility expert, but I am someone with experience in the area. I have hopes that this can improve and it's why I bring accessibility up in my reviews. But with that, let's move on to my final points. Omno is my game of the year so far for several reasons. For starters, the visuals are gorgeous with diverse plant and animal life that makes each of its landscapes feel lived in, while still being open enough to allow the player some breathing room. Omno invokes feelings of wonder and mystery, and at times I found myself just taking it all in without a sense of urgency. It was calming and captivating. Its gameplay loop was the perfect blend of light platforming, exploration, discovery, puzzle solving, and flair in the abilities you unlock as time goes on. It's a game that isn't padded out, its length isn't too short to make you feel not satisfied, satisfied, but isn't too long where things get repetitive and you feel like the game isn't respecting your time. It was a magical journey from beginning to end that delivered on the glimpse provided by the demo that I fell in love with. Finally, the culmination of a solo developed project over the course of five years has resulted in a package that is worthy of being my game of the year so far. Omno is also worthy of the first ever Your Friend Jacob's seal of approval for simply being an all-around amazing game. And that is my review of Omno. My first review is in the books. Did you enjoy this review? Let me know in the comments below. Did I miss any areas? that you'd like me to consider for future reviews. That feedback is totally welcome. If you were at all convinced to purchase Omno, try it on Game Pass, or wishlist it on Steam, I'd love to see that in the comments below. If you like this video, please leave a like, and if you can, please subscribe, as subscribing is free and helps out the channel quite a bit. As the channel grows, I'll be able to make more reviews and videos like this one. I'm even doing a giveaway of 50 subscribers, so be on the lookout for that. The last thing that would help me out is to share this video with a friend or anyone who may enjoy Omno and is on the fence. Thank you so much for watching this review, and I hope to see you again in the next one.